There's the geese. There's more of them. Pretty neat. I finally got the fire going. And we're doing the leaves over there. Yeah, finally got it going. Anyway, I'll put a little more on it and then I'll get back over there and at the leaves again. It's kind of nice to see the Canada geese, although I like it better in the spring when I see them heading in the opposite direction. Because that means that winter is over. It does. And I like in the indication winter's over. Right now, seeing them means that winter's starting. So, you know, it's the start of the ordeal. I'm trying to keep the fire small today, but um, I can't let it burn down either because if it goes out, I may have a bad time starting it again. So, out. <laughs> Pouring up, out. These are kind of bad. You can see they're not nice to deal with. There's a lot of those bushes in this, uh, in this area. Terrible things. All right. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Piece of metal there. Okay, I'll put that aside so it can go into the into the um, scrap metal. They've got a, a scrap metal little scrap metal hoard at, at the house there that they're going to take to the junkyard soon. So, well, uh, yeah. So I'll put that in with it. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. I'll tell you, these pine branches are really good for getting the fire started and getting it going. Keeping it going. Oh, it smokes. it to continue. So I'm gonna put a few of these old logs on here too. There we go. Yeah, we'll just let that burn like that for a while. Just be greedy and put a little more on. I want to get rid of as much of this pile as I can today. So, let's see here. If we can do that. This will burn good. Okay, now. I'd like to get these weeds here to all burn too because they're putting moisture off which will put the fire out which isn't any good